Hello friends and strangers! In case you couldn't tell from one of my previous videos, I was never a big fan of maths in school. I didn't particularly want to find out the angle of that triangle, or figure out what the hell X was. And let's face it, if Michael has 30 bars of chocolate and he eats 20 of them, he's probably going to be violently sick and possibly die. But instead of caring about the welfare of Michael, schools just want to know how many chocolate bars he has left. Get your priorities right, schools. But there are some calculations that I actually find fascinating. And that is calculating how much of our lives we spend doing certain things. So let's find out how much of our lives we are wasting. It's been calculated that from the day we are born to the day we die, we will spend 92 days of our lives sat on the toilet. Our lives are literally going down the toilet. We spend 115 days of our lives laughing. Can you imagine if you just laughed constantly for 115 days straight? God, your abs would kill you. I've never been a fan of smoking. And if it's true that a smoker will waste 160 days of their lives stood outside having a fag break, then I don't think I'm gonna take up the habit anytime soon. We spend 26 years of our life in bed, sleeping. On top of that, we will also spend approximately seven years of our life waiting to go to sleep. If you ask me though, 26 years in bed is a pretty good way to spend your time. We also spend around about 38,000 hours eating. Again, I think that's time well spent. We will spend approximately five months of our entire lives complaining. Unless you're British, in which case the amount of time that you spend complaining is likely to be twice as high. We will spend six months of our lives in queues. Now I can see why we spend five months complaining. Apparently, we will spend five years of our lives on the internet. Somehow, I don't think they've taken the amount of time I spend on Tumblr or YouTube into consideration. If they did that, I'm sure they would tell me that a good 50 years of my life has been spent on the internet. And I'm only 20! We will spend 11 years in front of the television. And I'm not sure if that's including the marathon I had last weekend, where I watched all eight Harry Potter movies consecutively. Men will spend approximately 46 days getting ready for special occasions. Women will spend 136. Furthermore, while men will spend approximately 3,000 hours of their lives shaving their face, women will spend nearly 50,000 hours shaving their entire body. It's estimated that we spend 24 minutes a week shaving our legs alone. It's times like this that I regret being born with a vagina. Damn you society and your ideas about women's beauty. Whoa, I just got serious there. Women will also spend about 96 minutes a week just applying their makeup. And then we will spend a further 20 minutes a week taking it off. We also apparently spend 12 minutes a week on our eyebrows, because if your eyebrow game ain't strong, you're doing it wrong. We will also spend about 8 minutes a week painting our nails, only to have our nails chip 5 minutes later. Before I stood up in front of a camera to film today, I had to spend 20 minutes putting on my makeup, 10 minutes in the shower, a further 10 minutes drying my hair, which by the way, women will spend 112 minutes a week doing. Women are spending more time on their appearance than they are sitting on the toilet. When you put some of these figures together, women are spending approximately 6.5 hours a week on their appearance. Whoa. That's quite a lot of time. I love my life! And I think you have to ask yourself, is all of this worth it? Some of the things on this list are essential for healthy functioning lives, but sometimes I find myself wondering, is it really worth it that I will spend so much of my life just applying makeup and shaving my legs? And I think the answer to that question is, if it makes you feel good and you enjoy it, then yes, it's 100% worth it. However, if you're only doing it because you feel under pressure to do it, because let's face it, people, especially women, are under immense pressure to look and feel and be and dress a certain way. And if you're doing something not because you want to do it, but because you feel you have to do it, then let me tell you now, you don't have to do it. If you want to spend your time doing something else, then that's great. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. I think what I'm trying to say is, Life is short and we shouldn't be wasting it doing things that we don't need to do or we don't want to do. 
Looking up these results has really made me question my life and it's made me want to reconsider how I spend my time and it's really got me thinking about what things I love to do and what things I can do without. Why waste so much time worrying about what people think of me when I could be outside frolicking in some field? In fact, what are we doing inside watching this video? We could be outside frolicking in a field. Come on, let's go. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next week. Bye.